Hi guys, charity shop Gold or Garbage. We've been out to Yate today. I think there's about five charity shops there. Good example of the randomness of what I can find. We'll talk about this one first. A carpet stretcher. D-I-A-L-L -L is the brand name for B&Q, which is one of those hardware supermarkets in the UK. Five pounds, this cost me in uh, Cancer Research UK. Still got the instructions in it, still taped in place, looks like this has never been used. If you don't know what a carpet stretcher is, it's got spikes in it that you push into the carpet when you're trying to lay it and then at this end you hit your knee against it to push the carpet to stretch it so it goes over the gripper rods that you've put round on the floor. I'm not laying any carpet at the moment but it was worth buying for five pounds they're currently I think it's £26 in B&Q, so for 20% of the price it's probably worth buying and putting to one side. I do sometimes have to lift carpets and get them back down again, so it'd be worth having. And then the other thing, yet yeah, another radio controlled car, another new bright this one's a Land Rover. I've already got two of these in red. This one's in silver or grey. They always have the same chassis. I wonder if this one's got any batteries in it. It's not likely, but we'll have a look. Well, nice and clean. No corrosion. 27 megahertz. Yeah, this looks okay. I'll put some batteries in it and give it a try. But for a pound, which is what they sold it for, I couldn't really resist it. You might notice my steering's a bit hesitant there. That's because all new bright toys are the reverse to all my controllers. So forwards is backwards and left is right. So it takes a bit of getting used to trying to think in reverse. In fact, what I use is this controller, which is one of those um, tank style or skid steer. So forwards is reverse, reverse is forwards and left and right really doesn't matter does it? So it works for a pound, probably good for component parts anyway.